The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Rams and the Niners, and it's coming up next. It was a common sight in the 80s and 90s, not quite as frequent since, but it's back. Playoff football in the Bay Area here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight we continue with Wild Card Weekend with what should be a great one between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Play first pass for Brady. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. On play action, it's Brady. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 27 yards there, a first down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 11 more on that one and another first down. On play action, now Brady sliding out of the pocket. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the 49ers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. And certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start opening drive INT. And, partner, sometimes I wonder, do these teams talk about it to such an extent that maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it? Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football, and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. Scoreless here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. Purdy with it on third and long. Flushed out right. And he's left with no. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? Complete, Jefferson the target, that he won't quite make it. situation brewing this defense on their heels a little bit as they get set to defend a first and 10 with the ball at the 16. On first down this is McCaffrey and he stopped immediately there. 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Purdy looking to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Oh, look at this play call. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Oh, how about this on first and goal? It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. It's a bit of a dangerous part of the field for him to break into their bag of tricks, but for a minute there, I thought it was going to set up perfectly for them. Instead, they don't get into the end zone. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. He's at the 50. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Fun to watch a big boy pick it up and go. He may need a little oxygen on it. He may need a lot of oxygen on the sideline. Not only that, how about you and me trying to balance ourselves up here because <laughs> you can feel the shaking all the way up to the booth. That big guy trying to get it to the house. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turn. We have a red zone alert on our hands. The first down play is over. It's now second down and seven. On second down, Elliott once more. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Now Brady. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there it certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. The kick by Lambeau is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get... Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw on second and ten. Brady to Jefferson on the slant. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw, it's Brady. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brady to throw again. Oh, and he'll just get rid of this one deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Brady. And able to complete it to Moreau. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hopkins. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Four yards to go on second down from the 7. Throwing now is Brady. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. 
I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme once more on third down? Let's find out. Now throwing on third. This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of... Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners will take it up to the 43. Let's go. Here's Purdy. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 25. First down now, but that clock rolling. Purdy to throw. And that's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. He'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. He's back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and they take the lead by a point, 17-16. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown and the ever critical extra points. So it is a one point lead here in the final minute of action. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Tom Brady in the offense. Down 17 16, 47 seconds remaining. A field goal would produce a playoff stunner on the road, but this crowd is going to let them hear it here on first down. 
Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. It was the free safety to Sean Gibson who was able to range over and knock it away. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Brady. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Now Brady. On the slant complete to Hopkins. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. To throw is Brady. Over the middle complete. That's Elliott. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. So now the onus will fall on the shoulders of Josh Lambeau. This to advance to the divisional round. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer.